Now we're joined by resident designer Hamish and his friend Mark Carley from Higher Plants, who supplies the cafe with all of the wonderful plants on, on set. Morning, guys. Good morning. Mm. Really I know. nice to have you here. It, it is good to have Mark here because I think he needs some appreciation for how well he's done dressing the set for us this year. Yeah. We've got colour, texture, uh, we've got flowers, uh, which is a nice change from last year, and it looks bright, so well done. Yeah, no, thank you, Mark, and they're all still alive, which is yes. <laughs> fantastic. So who's in charge of that? Yeah. Yeah. Obviously not yeah, us. We'll no, take care of that for you. <laughs> not me. OK, Mark, uh, when it comes to planning an event like a wedding, uh, people perhaps don't think about hiring plants, but, you know, I guess it can add and enhance an event. How would they go about that? Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, plants are great for all sorts of um, events. So if you think about functions and weddings, they're just the kind of thing that can add to you know what you're doing and in any venue. Um, so it's really a case of understanding if there's a theme that you're going for, then plants and foliage is going to really help that, whether it's formal, tropical, modern, etc. Or just even if the venue actually or the place you're using needs something, right? A little bit of temporary, temporary, temporary a little bit as well. Something. Yeah, so, yeah. so what do you need to be thinking of when you're when you're factoring and using plants? What do you need to consider? I think there's a, a bunch of things. Obviously going with everything else that you're doing in the event and what you want people to be doing and experiencing, etc. And how much, you know, your budget as well. So is it you've got a practical purpose that you just need to make your space right? Yeah, you know, or cover that big are? massive yeah. stain on the wall. That's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> or just show people this is where the entrance is and that's where you don't ah. go and look here, don't look there, look at this. Nice. Um, yeah. So what do you do if you really want to um, create a lot of impact? There's a couple of ways you can do it. Obviously, um, that's the thing about plants is you can get really good scale easily. So, I mean, we do um, event plant walls, which are just incredible. They would look you amazing. Know, yeah, but just, you know, a large, large palm. So, you know, um, the foliage can make a huge difference. Just more of them. Yeah, more. yeah. And I mentioned before, you know, like the, the themes, like if it's formal, you know, topiary bucks, this really clipped plants are going to look amazing. And then it's going to augment everything else that you've got going on in your event as well. We've seen some shots of some weddings and they look fantastic with adding some plants. Uh, and we can see them there on screen now. I mean, that just is going to really add a bit of a wow factor to the event. But apart from weddings, what else could you use the plants for? I mean, you know, yeah, for short term events, we do everything from private functions to really big public events, expos, you know, um, trade activations, branding, etc. All sorts of events. Anything that you want, you know, just want to create some impact. So you could use. Um you could use plants instead of flowers at your wedding too, couldn't you, as the centrepieces? Yeah, absolutely. And and even if you you know you can make your flowers go further if you're just using plants, you know, as um, any additional foliage, yeah, etc. You could yeah. walk down the aisle with a plant, but that <laughs> might, <laughs> might make throwing the holes and taking a little bit awkward later on. Um, so if you're creating your own event at home, what are some tips to things to look out for? I think, again, it's just how you want to sort of... It's like, you know, you move your furniture around when you have a party to, yeah. you know, for, it's the same thing. Push what do you back. want to do? Rather than spending all weekend sorting out the garden, just get some plants and put them on the porch. Oh, yeah, you know, block off the garden. It's yeah, not yeah, done. Yeah, yes, yeah. No ask him say. price. Go yeah. on, someone ask him price. Well, no, I was thinking about that. So is it cost-effective? It is. It's really reasonable. I think if you think about, say, 10 to 15 plants, one, you know, 1 1.8 metre, um, $500, Stage in the containers as well. So it's all about how you set it up and yeah. present it, delivered, picked up, it's just dealt with. So what happens if somebody puts all their cigarettes out <laughs> in the planter? Yeah, that would yeah. happen at one of my parties, but I can't vouch for anyone for else's others, parties. Yeah, 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 yeah we, we'll deal with that. We, yeah. you know, take that away for you as well. Yeah. Glass <laughs> Tip it out thing. on your floor and then, yeah. <laughs> Not recommended. Is that terrible, yeah. 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 Um, And hey, well, you know, you're a designer. Are you seeing yeah. more and more of this occur? Well, we see lots more plants, don't we, inside homes? And uh, if you, okay, oh, yeah, you might have a fair amount of plants at home, uh, and you decide you're going to have, say, someone's 60th birthday or something like that, that's in your house. By the time you do shift your furniture out, like Mark said, um, places can still feel empty. Mm. There's no point going out and trying to buy this sort of stuff. So to really give it the the feel and fill those dead spots, because mm. rooms look odd when all the furniture's been shifted yeah. out. Renting plants like this is probably a really good way to go. So you could rent them, say, for a nice Valentine's Day evening. Hamish, have you got a message for anyone in particular that, you know, <laughs> we might have to just make sure that you do get out there to make sure I'd that like you have a I'd like to say Happy night? Valentine's Day, Anita. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't half shameful. <laughs> but there we go. Oh, nice. Well, I'm, I'm pleased, pleased to it's... make up something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's all right. You can go in a minute. Um, I'm pleased it's cost effective because I've never really thought about that before. And Mark, thank, can we just say thank you again for all yeah. the plants around here? Yeah. Yeah. They are fantastic and giving people some inspiration for their own homes as well. It's a pleasure, thanks. Nice work, thank you so much for coming and thank you Hamish for bringing in a man who knows his stuff. Okay. That's what I do. <laughs> for more information and inspiration you can check out the Higher Plants website, higherplants.com.